All right, friends, I'm in my supplement room here, um, which is also known as my bathroom. And uh, I've decided that I'm going to save everybody the trouble of um, making and then watching the uh, Natty or Not videos. Uh, for many of you who don't know, I've been training for 25 years. Uh, total, I did 23 years completely natural. Uh, I am not natural now. I am on TRT, DECA, and I will be going down the road headfirst, diving headfirst head first down the road of PEDs. I have a uh, short experience with Anavar, CJC 1295 uh, Ipamorelin. So for guys like Kenny, uh, Kenny KO and uh, Greg Doucette and uh, more plates, Derek and you know all the Natty or Not uh, video makers and uh, I don't want to forget the new guy Jordan Oakley, he's not really the new guy but I like him, I like his videos, they kind of just jumped into the algorithm. I'm going to save everybody the trouble and uh, as your father I'm going to give you some advice. I want all of you watching, okay, to repeat after me. Fill in the blank, that would be the, their name, is not Natty. Not Natty. Okay, let's do it again. Ready? Fill in the blank at gymsharkathlete.com. Social media influencer, uh, they're not, I don't even want to call them athletes. All right, social media influencer, fill in the blank, is not natty. Neither am I. But, you know, that's kind of the point. So, um, I, so I've put on 10 pounds in the past uh, two months because I just had a spinal fusion. For those of you who don't know, I had surgery, major spine surgery fusion. And I couldn't lift legs for like 10 years because the nerves down my legs were so impinged, they were pretty messed up. So I tried to maintain balance, upper body, lower body. So now I'm like trying to put on a lot more weight. I want to get up to 200 pounds. I've never been 200 pounds, but I remember I've lost my life a couple times. So I had complete organ failure and I got smashed by one of my dump trucks in the head and I have a brain injury. But... I feel like we need to just have a little clarification here because you guys are watching all of these influencers who are basically building their empire, their business, even their reputation off of lying to you, lying to you. Yo, so what's up guys? Like I'm back with another video for you. You know what I mean? I want to talk about my 50 pound one year natty transformation and how I got so big, and I'm gonna tell you the secrets. Creatine. Don't buy their stuff anymore. Guys, don't, and girls, don't buy their stuff. Because what they're doing is literally they're joining a little clique, a group, and they have this thing, and then they just tell you lies, and then you're like, oh, this is great, I wanna be like that too, and then you pay the money, and, and, and they're taking your money. They're taking your money. And they know they're lying to you. So they're like, oh yeah, here's the generic training program that we just did in my new app. And uh, here's my clothing that I want you to buy because I'm natty. Buy my clothing because I'm natty. So, uh, yeah. how can we get to a place of call out the bullshit? Call out the bullshit. I don't know. I just want you guys to know the truth because I was there I was there and I didn't know the truth and then I personally had a coach my first trainer was a man by the name of Joe Dodd if you've seen the Conan and the Barbarian movies with Arnold Schwarzenegger Joe was Arnold's stand-in so that's the guy that has to look just like Arnold be built just like Arnold because he takes his place when Arnold's like sitting in his trailer or hooking up with a girl or eating food or whatever you know so the stand-in has to be there to take their place for the scene that was my first trainer. He owned a gym called Man's World in Trenton, New Jersey, where I went at 17 because I wanted to be a bodybuilder. Until I found out I am the skinniest, hard-gaining ectomorph you will ever meet in your life. And I mean that because I am now 42 years old and I still can't put on weight. So, he told me, actually, let, let me give you a visual. It was a really trashy gym, but it was, it was rusted iron everywhere and it was beautiful. That's where you went to train, if you were serious about training. He took me down into his basement, and it was kind of weird at the time, uh, now that I think back about it, I probably should not have gone down into his basement, and he told me something. He said, most of the guys in here are on steroids. 
do not ever take steroids unless this is your life. So I did 23 years naturally. He also taught me, I'll wait on that one, never mind. He was a great coach. He was a great trainer. He taught me old school bodybuilding. That's what I learned. And at Man's World in Trenton, that's where all the old school bodybuilders came. Uh, rest in peace, Dave Draper. He had been there quite a few times with Arnold. Um, Frank Zane, I know, has been through there. Uh, Sergio, a lot of the old school guys have all been through there. So I guess I'm kind of rambling in a video that doesn't need to be this long. The point is, all those guys on social media telling you that they're natty, they're not. They're not. Even the ones that look skinny and ripped and soft and skinny and ripped and I, I don't know. They're not natty. They're not. They're not. All right? Transparency and honesty. Today, we need morals. Today, we need people to stand up and say, listen, I'm not okay being lied to. Tell me the truth or get the F out of here. Okay, call people out on their dishonesty. Dishonesty is cowardly. If you're lying, you're afraid of something. If you're lying, you're afraid of something revolving around the truth. Stop allowing them to lie. All right, I'm Adam. This channel's called Heal and Overcome. I am now on a journey to take my physique to the next level that I never achieved. I used to be a fitness model and an actor and a musician professionally, but I always wanted to be more geared towards bodybuilding and and, you know, full-time fitness modeling. So, that's where I'm going. I also have a production company that I do full audio, video, and music production. And I will be relocating out to Arizona and doing fitness photography full-time in a studio that I am building on a ranch in southern Arizona. Peace. Thank you. I, don't, I just high-fived you. I literally just high-fived you. High-five.